we obviously have shared some opinions about different platforms. Mm -hmm. You've let us know what you think about the Helix, but it then these this high gain stuff ended up sounding really good, which is not really an area yeah. of the Helix we've pushed into before. Right. And different amp models sound different. In your opinion, this is my other topic for the podcast. In your opinion, uh, which platform is best for high gain? Goodness. <laughs> what, no no what pressure. A question. Yeah. Well, you know, I thought we've never really talked about this. Mm. We've talked, you know, a mm. lot of times in general, I, we're talking about lower gain, clean, you know, some rock kind of stuff. Honestly, hmm. okay. I like the way my profiles sound on the quad cortex the most. Hmm. That's where I like the, the sound of them the most. Interesting. Hmm. But the quad cortex. What, what about it? What about the sound do you like? It captures the most accurate low end. Okay. Like when you go back and forth Noticeably. between the amp and the. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Noticeably. This is something I have noticed at times about Tonex as well. When I notice a difference, it's the low ends that's different. Yeah. It's not the rest of it. No. Sometimes, mm -hmm. and we just praise the Kemper. <laughs> sometimes yes. the Kemper will will shave off high and low ends. Shits end. the bed. Yeah. Mm. With <laughs> capturing low end. Right. That bye bye. Absolutely. bye bye low ends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say that yeah. is a criticism I've heard even before I got into Kemper. Oh, okay. It's something I asked Christoph very early on about. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we, I remember back in the, when we were doing profiles in the studio <laughs> at, at yeah. the church studio yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. and we, we actually, I think it was maybe the first time we did that. We're like, man, this thing is so cool. What is it really doing? And we pulled up an EQ analyzer and we're like, oh, it's shelving off everything under a hundred. Yeah. Like noticeably the Kemper yeah. just does that. There's a, for sure. Right. And it's like, okay, cool. Like we don't typically need that information anyway. And I remember <laughs> I would always do this with people. Like I would, I would tell you guys, okay. Uh, all right. Don't look. And I'd switch. Yeah. And in general, or, or people would come in the room and, you know, we'd show them the Kemper. And in general, when profiles were cleaner, people tended to say, oh, I like that one. And they would often choose the reference amp. Mm -hmm. But as the gain went up, the opinions would shift to the Kemper. Oh, interesting. And I always thought this is, this is just a function of low end. When it, mm. it's a nice big, clean, you can appreciate like a nice, not a lot of these were cleaner amps we were doing, but like you can appreciate a nice big full solid yeah. base. But as the gain went up and it got a little tighter, people right. liked that. Yeah, like yeah. It, it felt mm. punchier. For sure. So I like the way my profiles sound on the quad cortex the most. Interesting. Um, I don't think it's the best platform for all situations though. Yeah. So I think Tonex is probably the most versatile platform. If you have the software and a pedal. Sure. You can run it as a plug-in. Because can running it, it as a plug-in is just the easiest thing. If you're going to go play a gig, like a, a week-long tour with a metal band, and you could take any of this stuff. I, was gonna, I, I would use the quad cortex. You'd bring it sure. with you. Yeah. It's you'd, the you'd smallest. You'd definitely choose an all-in-one. The Tonex is kind of out for yeah, that. Yeah, the Tonex, right. it, it's like, you know, and for, you know, there, I have like a free metal junkie patch that you can, mm -hmm. and that would be basically what I would <laughs> swap out the, there, there's a there's like a, a gain channel and a clean channel. Mm -hmm. Swap out the gain and the clean with whatever you want. And go for it. And go for it. That's basically what I would use. Mm, I can't right. think of a situation that I yeah. would need anything other than those two things. Yeah. <laughs> really. yeah. And that's not really a knock on the Tonex. It's just no, 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 you would take an all-in-one. I would take an yeah. all-in-one for that gig. Yeah. For that thing. And that would be... But if I'm sitting down and recording or doing stuff Wait, at home... Wait, will you lose your Tonex. metal license if you go silent stage at a metal show? No, man. Nobody... Dude, no, I bet they're popular. Nobody... Huh? Very few metal people are going like the, let me say it this way are you saying the metal guys all got old john no i'm saying i'm saying the the younger metal guys are mm -hmm. are all mm. my they're all of, vegan and care about their hearing one of, mm. <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> one of my favorite bands is called periphery uh -huh. and they they're all axe effects yeah metallica uses axe effects periphery is uh, that guy has been using a uh um uh, quad cortex on some of, isn't he in his studio doesn't he have a oh in the studio they have everything yeah yeah i think he has a bunch of videos in his studio about using the quad cortex they have everything yeah mm. but live they it's use x effects yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
and it's all built out with sure yeah auto switching and all yeah that. Yeah. Like yeah 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 crazy yeah. that seems to be the way to go yeah. now you hook everything so into one you know system. I think it's uh, you know on the stage I think it's more about versatility and yeah you know I think uh, on one of our NAM videos I think I I said something like you know features per cubic inch <laughs> yes <laughs> right it's right. like the quad cortex <laughs> is unbeatable yeah on that yeah. Right. But sitting down and recording, like all of my stuff that I, every time I'm writing music, it's all tone X because yeah. it's so easy. Yeah. Mm. So you're the not going to take, yeah. So the you pl- won't, so quad cortex, if you're going out, yeah. Tone X there. Tone you know, X. At the, if, at the, if quad cortex had, so it's actually okay. kind of, what it's actually kind could, of funny. Yes. Because I have all, I have a bunch of neural DSP plugins yes. too, and yes. I love those things. Yes. And everyone wants those things on the, on, QC. On the QC. I actually want like a QC native. <laughs> uh, right? I agree. Yeah. I think a QC native would be well, you, just I mean, as You could plug excellent. it in and do QC control. I mean. Yeah, in, that's not what I mean. Though. No. I'm talking like. You want to plug it into your interface. I'm, talk, yeah. I'm talking like I want to add as, what are they called? Like add a plugin to this channel in Logic as Quad Cortex. Yes. Yeah. That's what I want. Like Helix native. Like, a, like Helix yeah. native yeah, yeah, or yeah, like Tonex. Yeah. 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 Is it that different if you just plug it in and like leave it a little bit away from you that you're controlling it remotely? No, I do that. The problem is the the thing about using logic in that way is that if I switch to another channel, yeah. that other preset I see, I see. is still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, mm-hmm. if I switch to another channel, I have to physically switch the quad cortex yeah. to a different and channel. And changes after the fact. And you have to remember what you used. Yeah. Right. And right, like, it's not saved in the set. Yeah, 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 and things like delay trails and all of that. Totally. You know, oh, I see. That's true. It's like a whole thing. So you're going so, quad, quad cortex is the best for high gain. That's what I I'm think saying. for my profiles, the when I'm hearing all three platforms... Back to back to back to back, mm-hmm. hmm. <laughs> which we've pointed out too. Like very few people are doing that, are actually, yeah. right? But when I'm doing it back to back to back to back, it's the quad cortex to me. Now, sounds... may I tell a secret? Sure. Obviously, we put out one demo for all of the packs, and right. this was something kind of different that we hadn't really done for the metal junkie. Stuff. For metal junkie, we've now yeah. done it once or twice by the time yep. it comes out, mm. maybe three times yep. for uh, for tone junkie. Uh-huh. And it's something we're kind of, you know, testing. Do we do one demo and just say, here's the demo. Here's kind of what it sounds like. Now, we didn't advertise this, but none of the demos were on QC, right? No, not mine. Yeah. They're all Tonex. Yeah. Almost Is that one the, one's the Kemper? Oh, yeah. one's the Kemper. Yeah, you can mm-hmm. see. Yeah. That's right. I'll let people you go. Look. You can see the Kemper you sitting right behind. Kemper. Yeah. You can see That's it right. on and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the other two were Tonex. The other two yeah, were Tonex. In the demos themselves. Yeah. Mm. But Again, for how, like how close do they all sound? They sound w- very so close. You have to do an A/B test. You to have hear to a be right? literally sitting I mean, you next. You out. have to be switching back yes. and forth. Mm. And so yeah. it probably really yeah. comes down to the effects you like better and the switching for like what you're going to use live. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I want to throw out what you're monitoring through because we, sure, when sure. we were on speakers, we were like. These are indiscernible. Some right. of these platforms. And right. then you said on headphones, it's when I plugged it more for, apparent for the uh, the Helix. The Helix, stuff. yeah. When I, when we were doing the Helix yeah, yeah, tone yeah. matching, yeah, yeah. In your office, it was like this is yeah, yeah, and that tells so you so close. That tells I, you, yeah, yeah. On headphones, it was more noticeable, but it was because just it's like like a microscope in your ear. Yeah, I mean, but like, it was also just like oh, it's actually like less. I need less gain. For yeah, those, little, it's yeah, like little stuff. tweaks. Yeah. I mean, not... it tells you that when you're listening in a room, you're hearing the filter of the room as well, <laughs> and that equalizes things. For sure. Yeah, that yeah, same, it, you sure. know, that's what's making it sound yeah. It's different than blasting, you know, yeah. over like so much gain like into your ears. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay, Suze. Maybe maybe you're not on high gain, but what's your... Uh, Which one's the best? What's, what's your best? Not for high gain? Well, just for you. Just for just whatever? For you. Um, I recently played, uh, I haven't been doing my church gig, but I played on a Sunday for the first time in like six months. Yeah. And I took the Tonex out and had a blast. Big church, your little church. With it was the, a little, was it like? was like a medium yeah. sized Baptist church sure. and full band. A few hundred people, thousand people. 600 maybe? 600, yeah. good size. Uh-huh. So a lot you had of people pedal- just said that's huge. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people. Fair enough. There's a yeah. lot of people who have. Yeah. Ne- I just want to throw this out just for yeah. context. All right. We've all played in front of, you know, what's the biggest crowd you've ever played in front of? Well, for him, probably not church. <laughs> 
It wasn't church. I win. But just biggest crowd. Yeah. It was like 15,000. Okay, that's huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, probably maybe 4,000. Yeah. I could have you beat, and I'm only going to say this is a big technicality. Um, I played in uh, Candlestick Park. or It was 3 Comp Park. At, wow. No, no. It was uh, the new ballpark. Pac Bell, it was called at the time. Mm-hmm. And I we did music before and after, but we also did uh, um, America... America, uh, the beautiful. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that song in front of a Giants game, uh, and it was uh, three of us. Right. That's a. Tech, that's not. They weren't there to see me. I was just gonna. <laughs> yeah. That's like, the question. Right. You know, who were they so there I'm just to gonna see? Say, so yeah. little technicality, but you, I don't know how many people were there either. So it might be more right. or less. But that right. was a. Yeah, interesting. I think I, that I was like that was. I happened to play music in a place right. with many people. I was right? there that that's, day. Yes. But. I would also yeah. like to say that same band also played shows for less than thirty people. Isn't that times. amazing? That is so, wild. Yeah. <laughs> okay, largest place. Just, I'm, just because for context, I think there's so many people, yeah. especially the church people who listen to this, who will who will never play for more than a, a, a 200 people. And I think that's mm. pretty common, and that's okay. And now there's some people who play at really big churches, and they go, oh, there's 3,000 people in this sanctuary. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and then there's some people who play, but I'm just, it's just funny that we say, yeah. because here it's not hard to find a church of larger, more than oh, 600 yeah. people. In totally. San Francisco, that would have been pretty difficult. Right. There was only a handful, is what I'm saying. Right. Here, there's probably 80. Right. Would we say there's 80 in this county? Oh, in Nor- for sure. Yeah, for I'd say sure. in Williamson County, there's 80 churches. For sure, yeah. Church be popular around yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, so you had your pedal board, Big Sky Timeline. Wait, wait, first, largest yeah. ever, pl- our largest group. Uh, largest. Oh, I said 4,000. Oh, 4,000, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking after that thing, the next thing is I one time played at the Hard Rock in Florida. That would be my official. I don't know how many people were there. Okay. Mm-hmm. It could have been 1,000 people. Nice. Yeah. That's about it. Um, yeah, and I was totally happy with the tone. Uh, got yeah. a lot of comments from the band. Man, that sounds great. What Man, profiles? What are you using? Are you using? I was using the um, oh the eighteen the eighteen watt, watt yeah one 18 custom on the Tonex. Yeah, Sweet. I didn't even know that. This isn't a shameless plug. I mean, this was, right. you know, we happen to be playing watt, it. Yeah. We happen to be playing it today, and that's what Sue. That sounds used. good. Yeah, you did tell me. Good. I just forgot. Yeah, but yeah. I, I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah. I mean, the Boogie MK7 also sounds good. Right. Did you play that in church? This Dag <laughs> Dag does might. Dag does might sounds <laughs> great. I will counter John and say I think my least favorite um, <laughs> solution is quad cortex. I just can't get into that thing. It's not my. It's not. My Wait, what did you play this weekend that you liked? The Tonex. Oh, I thought you said the quad cortex. Here I am. Here the, the whole time. The whole time. time. <laughs> I yeah, was like, Tonex. wow. Yeah, yeah. The Tonex really, uh, I'm in a phase. I mean, I think I'm Kemper through and through. I think if I could only have one, I would have a Kemper stage. Mm-hmm. It's just like the best unit. Yeah. Um, but I'm in a phase right now where like I really want to play my pedals again. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. what, you know, so now I'm I'm like, hey, I just want amps. Even the, the Kemper uh, player would be great for that, you know. But mm-hmm. And um, you're using your old school drives that... Just the stuff I used in 2007. I was going to say, it's like, very TP, yeah, TGP. Timmy and J. Jess <laughs> Puddles and Strymon. Like, yeah, it just right. sounds like, you know. Are you, Is it the Charlie Brown? Charlie Brown, yeah. And, and um, Timmy. Yeah, and then I think actually on this one I had used the uh, the protein, you know. It's mm. such like a financial collapse era board. <laughs> 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 it's like that. that's funny right? it's like it really is <laughs> yeah that is that's funny. so it's, funny it's that but, era of tone yeah yeah so i would i would say for me it's probably still kemper all around but um, yeah. but tone x is fantastic dude and actually i find myself uh recommending it more than the kemper these days when mm, people sure. say hey i want to get into modeling or i want to try some it's, tone junkie stuff i, mean, I say yeah. get a tone x one it's 179 right. throw, throw like our free stuff on it yeah. and have fun yeah you know? i know the the cost is for sure the yeah. makes it the easiest place to get into yeah. and it fits in with basically whatever rig you are whatever have. you know someone left a comment yeah. Yeah. Uh, you just reminded me of it someone left a comment and they were and you know we did this video talking about what's number one and it said something like uh I said, you know, Tonex is, seems to be number one. It, it outsold the Kemper one month at Tone Junkie, the everything pack mm-hmm. for the Tonex. Outsold the Kemper everything pack. And someone said, wow, you mean a 179 unit sold better than a $1,600 unit? <laughs> right. And I'm thinking, well, that's not really what we're talking about. I mean, there's always been cheap units. We're not saying the Ampero 2 is all of a sudden more popular than the Kemper. But <laughs> right. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, Because like, there hasn't been huge adoption of that. Yeah. Like I think it's not that's like the thing. people it's have like, been running out to buy the Ampero or whatever. Right. There's mm-hmm. other yeah, there's other capturing solutions that have been out there 
or even yeah. tone matching or, or just whatever. modeling or whatever like yeah 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 so hmm. but the tone x is new it's the newest cheapest yeah most like the catalog is huge on that thing yeah mm. yeah yeah i mean not just from us For, there's yeah, so yeah. much there's, stuff there's, on there's there. a million things yeah. out there yeah um Okay, I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna say. Doesn't You're gonna say to the said. Kemper. I'm gonna say That's the fine. Kemper. The you know, Kemper is you know. Cool. Look, I mean, you, you play something. If for you were long gonna go on a gig, you, you play the you Kemper. That's what I take all the time. <laughs> I take it all the time. 